Okay, this is going to be a RAT proxy tutorial for Spyro 1. Um, the first ever, actually, I guess. Um, I'll apologize ahead of time because of my poor mic quality, um, as well as the fact that this tutorial I'm kind of just winging. Um, I have some notes of what I want to say on a few points. Um, but for the most part, this may be a little unorganized, um, but hopefully it has kind of a, a decent flow as far as um, educating the trick. Um, and hopefully it's not too long. I'm shooting for like 10 minutes if I can, but we'll see. It may go closer to 15. Um, anyway, uh, so this trick isn't really that difficult to um, learn once you kind of figure out how it works. Um, pulling it off in a run in RTA is um, another matter. It is pretty difficult to get in a run, but not because it's um, a very technical trick. It's just like a decent amount of difficulty on top of the fact that it's very RNG based um, on our just the rats movement um, so there's a lot of variables and a lot of factors that can go into um, whether you get a good setup and that makes it pretty difficult um, that said um, there's still a lot of unknowns um, about rat proxy right now no one's really given it too much thought um, within the community. There have been a few that have surface studied it, but for the most part, I'm the only one that's really given it deep attention and tried to implement it, it in runs um, to the point that I'm honestly 100% confident that it is a more viable method than traditional Coveless, even though Coveless has been used by Let's see, I think three people in RTA up to this point, whereas Rat Proxy has only been used by me. Um, but it, it's something that I'm hoping this tutorial helps kind of uh, open people up to, um, to be able to use in runs. Um, so far, it hasn't been used in any percent yet, just in cheap percent. Um, but I'm hoping that that changes in the future. Um, but anyway, I'll go ahead and get into the specifics of the trick. So basically, the idea is to utilize the solid rat hitbox and get a squeeze proxy like that, um, as opposed to Spyro 2 and 3, all hitboxes in Spyro 1 um, are pretty much solid, and so the only proxyable mechanic is essentially squeeze proxies um, and so what we're doing is utilizing that rat's hitbox and killing it just before it reaches this corner here um, and in doing so we're able to get Spyro into this corner just prior to the rat getting into the corner and as the rat um, does his death animation um, like that he pops up and down um, just before he finishes his animation, he'll fall down to the ground and then wedge Spyro upward. Um, however, like you just saw, um, you don't always get a proxy. There's lots of things that can happen. In that case, I killed the rat um, a little bit too early, and it created a little bit too much space between the rat's hitbox and this portal. And so it didn't create the force to... Um, propel spiral upward. In other cases, if you do it too late, like this, um, you may still get something, but um, there won't be enough of a, a squeeze to, to really get him up onto the portal or onto the head over there. Um, uh, in other cases, let's see, um, you may get something more like this where you get stuck on top of the rat's hitbox. And that occurs because um, Spyro um, 
reaches the corner of this portal right here after the rat and because the rat's hitbox is solid instead of getting squeezed in between them he just stalls on top. I'd say that's probably the most common way of failing it other than just I don't know missing it altogether something like that. Um, those are the two most common methods but if you get into the corner usually um, when people fail it I see it's because they're doing something like that. Um, uh, so as far as approaching the the rat, you can do a charge and then a jump charge. I've gotten proxies that way before, but um, only really on PCSXR. I used to use that emulator. Um, on EPSXE, I found that the most consistent method is really just to to wait for the rat and then kind of beat it to the corner right there. Um, the issue with that method is while it's more consistent. Um, you have to anticipate the rat's movement, which isn't always consistent. And so it still makes the more consistent method inconsistent, which sucks. But that's just the nature of the trick. Um, so I would recommend definitely learning this trick on emulator so you can lay save states like that and then just practice responding to the rat's movement um, and even though that's not really gonna um, help you know how to respond to every situation that um, the rat's RNG presents you with it'll just get you in the um, in, in practice of responding to just the ways the rat moves um, now there's a few different positions that the rat will spawn in. Um, I guess a few is a, a bad way of putting it. Honestly, there's, there's probably a few dozen ways that the, the rat um, spawns in and kind of moves around when you load into Nork Nexus. Um, but if you practice it enough, you'll notice um, certain patterns that the rat follows that you can kind of somewhat predict and be able to utilize so that you can kind of get into this corner at the right timing. Um, let's see. So when you load into North Nexus, what you want to do is go directly into a jump charge and charge over to this panel right here. Um, it's kind of like on this line that I'm standing in front of um, between this white panel and this gray panel um, about here. And most of the time, the rat is going to be in front of Spyro when you get to this point. Um, if RNG is not in your favor, sometimes he'll be headed in this direction uh, or even be past Spyro. And if that's the case, honestly, the only thing you can do is either wait several seconds for the rat to move into the corner and hope for the best or just reset um, if you're going for a good time. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just in my attempts going for world record I, you know, of cheap percent, that is, um, I tended to just reset. Um, there's not really, there's not really a whole lot of hope in, in getting the rat into the corner very quickly if he's already headed this way. Um, but hopefully what will happen is you'll get into that tile and he'll be headed kind of in that direction. And what he does is move toward this corner right here. Sometimes he moves into the corner, sometimes he just moves close to it. Um, but ideally what you want is for the rat to move into the corner. And then from there, you can get a proxy. Um, so anyway, that's kind of how to approach um, the setup from the balloon right here. Um, and as you can see from that same load in, it doesn't always mean that the rat is going to um, end up in the same spot or face the same direction. Like you saw there, he moved toward me. And that isn't ideal. Um, whereas before he was in a better position. Um, what you want ideally is once you get to this tile over here, 
um, which, let's see, this one, it's kind of lined up with the corner of that head right there. Let's show how to approach it again. So yeah, this tile on the corner, so you want to face kind of the, the edge of the head right here and go to this tile, this line. What you want ideally is um, a variation of two different positions. The first one is like this, where the rat is on Spyro's right and it's um, kind of facing the direction of the portal. Um, what will happen is the rat will curve into the corner and you can get a proxy like that. Um, in this separate instance, different save state, same similar position. He gets into the corner a little bit quicker and doesn't curve quite as um, uh, quite as obtusely, I guess. And in um, in this time or this instance, he moves a little bit more linearly into the corner, but you can still get a proxy. I'll try and show it. Oops. Um, and so. Basically, um, the gist of what I'm trying to illustrate is that um, even though the rat spawns in slightly different variations and moves in slightly different variations, there are more than one instance in which he will move into this corner and you want to utilize that and try and get used to its patterns, study the way it moves and how long it takes to get into the corner and be able to um, make a judgment call once um, you get to this position and know when to jump and then therefore get the proxy. Um, the second variation of um, of the rat's position that you can get a proxy from is something more similar to this, where the proxy, instead of moving toward the portal, is moving towards the left of Spyro. And um, depending on how you spawn, he or how you position yourself, he may be more at Spyro's center, more to his left, more to his right, it doesn't really matter. The rat will be approximately right there and moving towards Spyro's left. What you want to do in this instance is be careful not to move um, because if you move too close to the rat, let's see if I can illustrate it. Oops. Um, it doesn't happen every time, but sometimes the rat will change. Yeah, see there? It will change its movement pattern a little bit if you move too early and won't quite move into the corner. And when that happens, um, obviously you can't get a proxy. So in this position, you want to wait about half a second and do a delayed jump. And then as the rat pulls into the corner, rather than beating it, you want to do it slightly after the rat has gotten into the corner and get a proxy off of it. In this position, it's a little bit more difficult. I've done it in one of my cheap percent runs, um, but um, it is a little bit harder because you have to do the delayed jump and because its movement is a little bit more um, or less intuitive, I guess, as far as how to respond to it. Um, also, I haven't really practiced this in oh, like a week, so there you go. So yeah, you can get proxies off a couple different positions, but basically look for a position like this, do a delayed jump, and then get into the corner just after the rat. Or if you can get into a position more like this, anticipate the rat's movement into the corner and slightly beat it, getting a proxy. <clears throat> um, so yeah, the, the biggest things that I can stress as far as um, what I see people fail it for, don't do something like this where you're charge jumping it because generally the rat is going to be too far and it's going to beat you into the corner and you're just going to stall on its hitbox like that. Um, the other thing, just wait and then get used to its movement patterns um, as frustrating as they can be. They are something that you can study and somewhat understand but that's where most of the the variability variability is i also am not 100 percent sure um oops, 
how to best manipulate the rat. Depending on how long it takes you to get over here and how close you are to the rat and on what side of the rat you are, it can change the way the rat moves slightly. And so that just needs to be studied more and figure out how to be able to utilize more positions the rat spawns in in order to get a proxy and move it into the corner as desired. Um, but it just takes so much time and um, I already got the cheap percent run I wanted so I'm kind of not motivated to <laughs> worry about studying further factors like that at the moment but hopefully other people do. Um, anyway, as far as more advanced strats or just further depth this turnaround right here is something that you'll want to figure out if you're going for a competitive time um, in cheap percent landing on the head right here rather than the portal over here I'd say probably saves a second um, which probably isn't too much a big a deal if you're doing any percent and going for that proxy but in cheap percent um, it is a considerable amount of time but basically what you want to do is um, once you have your setup you anticipate the rat's movement charge into the corner um, and beat it whoops what you want to do is as you land you want to hit right and just hold it and then when you get the proxy glide just tap X and then land on the head um, as far as where to land like you saw you can roll off or if you hit it wrong you can bonk so you can land right here but pretty much any lower you cannot land on this head you can land kind of around this angle right here and you can land further up on the nose but kind of in this on the slope right here on this polygon you can't land um, from here whether you get on top of the portal and glide over here or whether you do the turnaround and and proxy directly over to the head you can just Glide through the the head for Nasty's portal right there and go into the level. Or what I like to do, it's also the faster strat, is um, oops. Uh, I like to charge off the head directly into the portal. And what you want to do there is let's see if I can get it again. Keep getting little ones. What you want to do is come out of your glide directly into a charge, and then as you climb the far nostril, um, so you'll you'll bonk actually if you charge on this slope right here, you'll bonk on this line, or do something like that. Um, so you want to make sure you you land in the center right here um, and then from here you'll charge and then as you pass this line right here um, as you go up this slope you'll want to hold X and square jump and charge and you actually won't jump off the head um, on this slope even if you're pressing jump until you get onto this corner right here and then from there you can charge into the portal so doing it fast, it looks kind of like this. Hopefully I'll get it. Um, I guess if you have a bad landing, then you'll just kind of do something like that. But in one fluid motion, I'll try to demonstrate. Like that. Now the thing to be careful of, you want to make sure when you go off that pointed nostril, right before you land in the portal, you want to be kind of dead center on this this segment right there. If you obviously are too far to the right, then you'll slip off. But if you're too far to the left, um, you'll because um, the polygon isn't very stable, as you can see, um, you'll roll like I did like there, or you'll just kind of fall off like that and you won't make it into the head so get the proxy turn around glide charge jump charge stay to the right and then do the twitch 
so that you can land into the portal. Um, that's something that I'd recommend just kind of playing with, figuring out yourself, becoming comfortable with it, so that once you're presented with a proxy, you don't ruin it. Because um, if you get a proxy and fall off the head, that sucks. Um, anyway, I think that's pretty much it as far as rat proxy goes. Um, like I said, the trick itself isn't too hard. As you can see, like if you get a position that you know works and you know the timing, for example, with a safe state, it's pretty easy to replicate. You just have to understand how you need to interact with the rat's hitbox. Um, and even in this situation with a safe state, you still don't get it every time. You don't always get quite as high of a proxy as you want, but it's very replicable. Um, the trouble is just that every setup results in a need for a slight variance in how you respond and only through studying the patterns can you sometimes get that. I'd say in RTA I probably get the proxy honestly as little as um, one every 100 tries at best but at the same time I find that I'm probably presented with a setup that could end up um, pretty easily with a proxy every I don't know, 20 attempts, 25 attempts maybe, or less. It's just that um, because of the variance in how you need to respond, it's hard to judge how to respond. And so even if you're presented with a good setup, it's still pretty difficult to, um, to actually execute correctly. But like I said, not because it's difficult to execute, simply because um, the response is so variant. Yeah, see so you bonk there if you land on that polygon, so don't do that. Um, but yeah, I guess the only other note that I wanted to mention, I mentioned this to Max the other day. Um, if you do the turnaround, it is a little bit more difficult, um, slightly more risky, I'd say. But at the same time, um, the one thing in your favor is that you don't need a proxy quite as high in order to get onto the head as you do to get onto the portal. In order to get onto the portal, so you need a pretty big one, um, but you only need about 80% of the height of this portal in order to actually get enough height to get onto that head right there. Um, and so there's benefits to doing both methods, but um, obviously going directly to the head is faster. So anyway, um, this has gone decent amount of time longer than I was hoping, but hopefully it answers people's questions and kind of just illustrates um, how to do the trick, and hopefully I was able to communicate some of my thoughts in a way that um, kind of presents people with the right questions to go into this trick with and study it more, um, but yeah. Good luck, guys. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments, um, or you can message me on Discord. I don't currently stream on Twitch, so that's not really a good method to get a hold of me. But um, yeah, reach out with questions or um, or concerns that you may have. Hope you guys start doing it, and hope one day we can implement it in any percent runs. Get that sub 38. Okay. Thanks, guys.